welcome to the Arts Integration Tip of the Week. And this week, we will be taking a closer look at text features. This is a skill that we start in elementary school. We want students to understand how to properly use text features in an informational text so that they can better understand the book. Also, they can use it to research, and we, they build upon this knowledge as they go up into middle and high school. So we're going to kind of break down a lesson that uses arts integration to really spice up a text features lesson that maybe typically would appear a bit dry, but we're going to make it really engaging by using media arts and drama. I am the glossary, and I have a very important job. I'm located at the end of the book, and you can go and use me when you're trying to look for what a word might mean that you don't know the meaning of when you're reading your book. So if you come across a challenging word next time, flip to the back and look for me. I'm usually in alphabetical order, and then you will know what the word means. First, you're gonna start out by giving all of your students an informational text to explore. When you give them this text, you're going to assign a text feature for them to write about. Now, you might let your students select the text feature they'd like to select, or maybe you're going to allocate each student to have a different text feature so that by the end, you have a class presentation of all the various text features. So for example, you might say, here's your book, and I want you to be the table of contents. So the student is going to think about, hmm, what is so important about a table of contents? And they're going to reflect upon that, and that's what they're going to write about. You might give them a sentence starter to get those ideas flowing. I am the table of contents, and I am important because I help organize the major parts of the book. I use page numbers so that you can look at the table of contents and quickly know which page to find the different parts. Something to that effect. So a student needs to be able to convince the reader as to why they should use them and why they should see them as important parts of the book. So, taking some time to get students writing about why they're important from the point of view of that text feature. The student is actually going to become the text feature. And this is important because in the next part, they're going to read what they write and record a chatter pics uh, video. After students have spent some time writing about their text feature, you're going to want them to practice reading what they wrote. Um, so to do this, you might want to warm up their voice because they're becoming a character. So maybe they need to explore different character voices. So maybe they're going to have a really low voice or a really high voice. Or maybe they're going to have a quiet voice like this. Or maybe they're going to have a really loud voice, right? You can do this vocal warm up to get them warmed up and ready to take on a voice and commit to a character. So this is an exercise where we're going to be using our vocal resonators, which are places in our body that can make sound, and we're going to warm up that way. So repeat after me, belly voice. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Good. Now I'm going to give you a chest voice, and this is more of our regal kings and queens. I rule this kingdom. Good. And now we're going to move to our throat. This is our prince voice. I can slay the dragon. It's a little bit higher than your chest. Let's hear it. I can slay the dragon. Good. Now we're going to move up to our head voice. And this is where the princesses live, or the opera singers, or the fairies, maybe. I, too, can slay the dragon. Good. And then finally, we're going to use our nose and speak with our nose. So this is more like where the witches or the trolls or the little mice might, might live when they speak. Taste my apple, dearie. Great. So warming up their resonators and having them repeat after you using those different places that we can speak from will help them take a voice and run with it. 
and they'll have so much fun recording their video clip applying one of these vocal choices. We're going to use chatter picks, and to use chatter picks, it's a great, fun, engaging, and free, did you hear that? I said free educational app that you can download onto iPads, tablets, as well as iPhones. We're going to use my phone for the purpose of this demonstration. So I found uh, the app. It's called Chatter Kid. Okay, all one word. You'll click on it and you'll see that Duck Duck Moose is the name of the company that created the app. So you can also find this online and learn more about it by looking up Duck Duck Moose. But you're going to click on this big yellow button. It's very user friendly, kid friendly, intuitive. Click on this. It's going to direct you to take a photograph. So we're going to take a photograph of our text feature that we're focusing on today. So if, if you assign me table of contents, I would hold my camera up. I'd take my photo. Easy peasy. There it is. And then I would record my voice. Well, first it's going to ask me to create a mouth. So I'm going to create a mouth. And that's my mouth that's going to open and close when the text feature starts to talk. And then you're going to press record. It's going to give us a countdown. Three, two, one. I am the table of contents and my job is to tell everyone where the different parts of the story will occur. You will go to me to look up the page number and avoid having to thumb through the book. You can see easily how the book is organized and where to go to find each part. Stop, and then you can see if I play it back. I am the table of contents, and my job is to tell everyone where the different parts of the story will occur. So I'm going to stop there. But you can see that it's very intuitive, easy to use, um, and you can export it into a little movie clip um, and watch all of your class clips and have a big sharing party, which is really fun. I am the table of contents. And I am important because I help readers find information really quickly. And you won't have to waste time flipping through all of the different pages if you use me. I say what part of the book and what page number you can find those parts of the books in. That is the Arts Integration Tip of the Week.